done a player of the year. We do this on behalf of several entities and also a coach of the year. And I believe Robert will also have a team of the year announcement as well. But we have to pare it down. And if you follow our website at CrescentCitySports.com, we listed 10 players that we had narrowed it down to and five coaches as well. We wish we could pick a whole bunch of them, but it's a never an easy thing to do. And we have people that take this very seriously and work very hard to try to come up with the best solutions. The first award that we will present today will be our Coach of the Year from the Greater New Orleans Sports Foundation Quarterback Club from CrescentCitySports.com, WGSO 990 AM, and Friday Night Football on NOAA 38 and ABC 26 and 2. Present the award. I'm going to bring back Robert O. Shields, and as he comes up, once he starts talking, you can watch the screen for the video of our Coach of the Year for 2018. Robert? Uh, thanks, Ken. Our RNL Carriers, New Orleans Bowl, Greater New Orleans Sports Foundation, Quarterback Club, CrescentCitySports.com, WGSO 990 AM, and Friday Night Football on NOVA 38 and WGNO. Prep Coach of the Year has accomplished as a coach as there ever was one. He guided his team to a number one seed, a perfect 13-0 record, and a state championship in Division One, where they were sounding a 49 7 win over Captain and Matt Rouge, and then J.D. Malosky Bears a year ago. It was, as it was the 27th state championship on the field, and 26 officially for the team. He now has 582 wins, by far the most in Louisiana prep football history, and the second most in the history of prep football in the United States. He was inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame in 2010, the National High School Hall of Fame in 2015, and was inducted into the All-State Sheriff of Greater New Orleans Sports Hall of Fame in 2017. Please welcome our Arnold Carriers, the Orleans Greater New Orleans Sports Foundation, CrescentCitySports.com, WGSO 990, and Friday Night Football on WNOL and WGNO Prep Coach of the Year and co-host of Friday Night Football, JT Curtis of John Curtis Sports. Coach uh, talks. We have we've, week in and week out. We have an ongoing thing about our Smoothie King T-shirts. We don't have an award from the Sugar Bowl yet. You know that's going to come later. But each week, someone asks us, you or me, do you, does Coach really have T-shirts? Can you really can I get really get a T-shirt from the school? Well, Coach, we don't have an award, but I did bring Friday Night Football T-shirts. So now you officially can give T-shirts out. There's a handful of t-shirts, so now you can hand it out to everybody. So come get a t-shirt. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many calls I get for t-shirts at school. Okay? No, I do, seriously. Thank you very much for this award, um, especially among the great coaches that are not only represented here today, but in our community, in our state. Um, Louisiana high school football is as good as it gets across this country. I know other places get more publicity because they have larger population, but these guys can compete with anybody in the United States, and it's a credit to their families, it's a credit to their coaches. I'm deeply honored. I thank the Arno Carriers, and I thank the Greater Sports Foundation Hall of Fame for this, uh, this honor, and uh, I appreciate it, believe me, for myself, my family, my team, and my coaches. Thank you so very much. <laughs> 